all sports competitions, the winner is decided already at the beginning of the competition. What differentiates the winner from the loser? His mindset, meaning his beliefs. The competition takes place only to show which sportsman has the winner's mindset. But what is the mindset? The mindset is the deeply held beliefs. Your beliefs generate your attitudes and actions, and what you do is what you are. If you believe you are a winner, you behave like a winner, you will train like a winner, and you will win. If you believe you are a loser, you will behave like a loser, you will train sloppy and poorly, and you will lose. Winners have the growth mindset. They believe they can grow their abilities and work hard every day to improve, while losers have a fixed mindset. They believe they are talented and don't need much training nor hard working. The problem is that in sport, most people believe in talent and very few believe in mindset, in hard working athletes that train their bodies and minds. Let's see some examples from sports where having the growth mindset won over having talent. But what is considered to be a talent in sports? Someone who looks like an athlete, moves like an athlete, and is an athlete all without trying. So experts relied on physical measurements to identify the talents. Let's see what happens when the mindset overcomes talent. According to the measurements, Muhammad Ali, ranked as the best heavyweight boxer and greatest athlete of the century, had great speed. But he didn't have the physique of a great fighter, nor the strength, neither the classical moves. In fact, he boxed all wrong. He didn't block punches with his arm and elbows. He punched in rallies like an amateur. So, he was not a talent. While his opponent, Sonny Liston, was a talent. He had a size, the strength and the experience. His power was legendary and no one could imagine that Ali could beat Sonny Liston. The arena was only half full for that fight. What is considered to be the winning factor of the game was the brilliant mind of Ali. He stated, I read everything I could where he had been interviewed. I talked with people who had been around him or talked with him. I would lay in bed and put all of the things together and think about them and try to get a picture of how his mind worked. And then he turned it against him. Ali's victory over Liston is boxing history. Michael Jordan wasn't a natural talent either. He was the hardest working athlete perhaps in the history of the sport. He was cut from the high school team. He wasn't recruited by the college he wanted to play for. He wasn't drafted by the first two NBA teams. And yes, I'm still talking about Michael Jordan. What happened afterward was that he listened to his mother. And if you don't listen to your mother, you could listen to his. Because look what Michael Jordan has become. She told him to discipline himself. And that's what he did. He left the house at 6 a.m. to go practice before school. He constantly worked on his weaknesses and his willingness to work harder astonished even his coach. For Jordan, success is a product of his mind. The mental toughness and the heart are a lot stronger than some of the physical advantages you might have, he stated. So, your mindset and your mind are what decides if you win or lose. But how do you know if you have the mindset of a winner and what contributes to your mindset? The first seven years of life are the most significant ones and contribute to the formation of the mindset. Actually, the parents, the relatives and the most trusted person from your childhood contributed in a heavy way. Your mindset is mainly made by the programs that those persons wrote into your subconscious mind. Everything that you heard repeatedly as a child is what you believe about yourself and about the world. If you heard that, Hard work and training are the key of success, that is what you believe and this is how you act. But if you heard that only talents and geniuses are destined to be successful, then you give up the fight before even starting it. The good news related to the mindset is that it can be changed. You can change your mindset by changing your beliefs. 
by repeating to yourself every day that you can get better by practice. And then, practice. The coaches play a significant role here too. They shall identify the fixed mindsets and transform them into growth mindsets by repeating to the trainees those things that repair the deficiencies. Athletes with a growth mindset find success also in learning and improving, not just winning. The more you can do this, the more rewarding sports will be for you. Enjoy the learning and the training and I wish you many victories.